Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. In this video, we're going to deploy a clean VCSA 6.5 uh, into one of our hosts in our lab. So it's going to be a clean installation. We will use um, the all embedded, it means we send the server and uh, PSC will be on the same machine. Here we're gonna enter the ESXi host from our lab and username and password. Then accept the certificate, name the VM. Enter root password, confirmation, and choose the deployment size. We're gonna use the tiny because we have small lab, less than 10 hosts. Use uh, thin disks, yes, we can, and uh, network and the IP information. Make sure you create the forward and uh, reverse DNS records on your DNS server before uh, launching this um, installation. You'll need this and the full gateway. Right. DNS server and finish. I'm accelerating the video quite a lot, about 20 times, 25 times. So the installation is really fast on your screen through this video only. In reality, it takes much longer. Okay, now we already almost finished the first part. So as you can see, it took me about two and a half minutes to go from here. In reality, it takes much longer. And then we're gonna hit the second part. It will be the configuration. There are some configuration to enter, but you can do also the configuration, configuration through the WAMI. It means that you can connect uh, via IP address and then you put the 5480 port at the end so and connect through the web based in interface. We doing this through the assistant so it's practically the same. Again we are accelerating the videos to to save a time otherwise it takes much longer okay everything is working we have successfully deployed the VCSA 6.5 appliance which is basically a vCenter server with all in even vSphere update manager is built in which is not the case for a Windows based vCenter where you have to deploy the update manager as a separate Windows box. So here we have all in one VM. Here we are going to connect. Yeah, let's take it off. Bookmarks bar, yeah need this. The first connection is a bit long but then it's just fine. Okay so we can connect. Right. Let's have a look uh, at the, uh, this is just for licensing. We don't have any license applied for now. But let's connect to the VCSA via the port 5480 
and he here you will see how nice this product is basically you can change the configuration in here you can watch if you have all the services running you can check for update you can backup you can change networking configurations here for example I can do I can add our second DNS host DNS server okay and we can uh, check for update if there is any update from the default VMware repository I don't think there is any updates but no and um, what else can we do we can change root password uh, CPU memory database okay thank you very much for watching bye bye